I'm Taiwanese, but I grew up overseas. I go back to Taiwan every year to visit family, and here are a few things that I always do when I'm back in Taiwan. So keep watching if you want to know what it's like to be a semi-local visiting Taiwan. As many of you know, 7-Elevens in Asia are amazing. The ones in the U.S., not so much. I've seen so many 7-Eleven hauls, and when I walked by this 7-Eleven in Ximending, I knew I had to go in and buy some lunch, even though I had just eaten already. The ceilings and decor are all pink, rainbow, and Sanrio themed. Like all 7-Elevens in Taiwan, there's a huge array of snacks, frozen foods, alcohol, and already made hot foods available. There are also seats inside where you can enjoy your purchases and hang out as well. Whenever I visited Taiwan, the convenience stores like 7-Eleven were a go-to for me to buy snacks. It brings back so many fun memories. All right, let's go shopping. First, I got a drink. I chose some Kalapisu water. It's like a milky Gatorade. I'll talk more about it later. I wanted a sandwich of some sort and went with the sushi rice wrap. This roe and crayfish salad one really spoke to me. For a sweet dessert, I chose a Milo chocolate bar. And for ice cream, I got the boba waffle to try. Any guesses how much the total will be? The total came out to 170 Taiwanese dollars. That's 550 US dollars. I sat inside the 7-Eleven to eat my purchases and was so excited to eat. The Kyla piece of water is very refreshing. It's an uncarbonated Japanese soft drink and in Japanese is pronounced karu pisu. The beverage has a light, somewhat milky, and slightly acidic flavor, similar to plain or vanilla flavored yogurt or yakult. I started backwards with the dessert, the ice cream boba, so it doesn't melt. It was so good and the boba was chewy and sweet. I'm a huge fan of ice cream sandwiches because they make less of a mess. I was worried that the waffle would be soggy, but it wasn't. As you see, I devoured the whole thing. Then, the roe and crayfish sushi rice roll. There are instructions on the wrapper telling you how to unwrap it so the seaweed stays wrapped nicely around the rice. To my best attempt, I didn't quite figure it out properly. I managed to keep it somewhat intact at least. The seaweed was so crunchy and the filling was salty and I love the mayo condiment inside. Now 
Next up, the Milo chocolate bar. I wasn't expecting it to be little crunch balls and had imagined it to be crunchy, but it wasn't, so that was a bit disappointing. But it was still really good and the texture was fun to eat. I was definitely starting to get full at this point, especially since I already had lunch earlier. But everything is so good. Once I finished, I quickly cleaned up and headed out as someone was looking for a seat. What do you think of the 7-Eleven? Next time, I'll come back here with a hungry stomach so I can try more food. There are many Din Tai Fungs in Taipei you can go to. The original one in Xingyi or the popular tourist one at Taipei 101. But my family and I like to go to the one in Zongsan because there are usually fewer tourists and the food is the same. Locals generally don't go to Din Tai Fung because it's expensive and you can get just as good, maybe even better foods elsewhere in Taiwan. However, I do love their Xiaolong Baos, so my parents took me to get some. Xiaolong Baos are soup-based little dumplings, so when you bite into it, just soup comes out and it's just so delicious and brothy. Din Tai Fung has a Michelin star and the service is always top-notch, and the food is consistent and delicious. In the US, there are many Din Tai Fungs in California, and though it is incredibly expensive compared to Taiwan, whenever I see a Din Tai Fung, I will go, and so should you. Taoyuan is another city in Taiwan that is actually the most populous district. We're getting coffee and a light lunch at this cafe in Taoyuan as I visited my aunts who live nearby. This minimalist, aesthetically pleasing cafe makes you feel like you're way out of the city and immersed in nature. The rainbow cheesecake really drew me in, and it was just as good as it looked. Oh, I need a sign. I need a reason why I'm alive. I can figure out why. A very traditional local meal we get for family gatherings is Kwai Tao, Taiwanese stir fry. The food is traditional Taiwanese, and it is so good, fresh, and usually piping hot off a wok. I come with my family and relatives, so I let them order and I just eat my heart out. These dishes are meant to be paired with drinks like beer, rice wine, soju, soda, or juice. As you can see, we also ordered a lot of sashimi. This is a lot of fun and a great way to spend time with close family and friends. I don't think you were expecting this, but salons and hair washes are so cheap in Taiwan. I love getting my hair washed when I'm in Taiwan because it's so relaxing and feels great. This is my treat myself when I'm in Taiwan, and I don't do it anywhere else. It's just so much more expensive in the US. Here they will wash, massage, and blow dry your hair for $10. So I always get my hair washed, especially when I have long hair and I'm too lazy to wash and dry it myself. There are these really cheap haircuts for 100 Taiwanese dollars, or 2 USD, where you pay a vending machine and get it cut in 10 to 15 minutes. It's not fancy or anything, but my hair was getting so long, so I chopped it all off quickly. Another treat myself in Taiwan that I do is getting massages, cupping, and scraping. 
Again, it's just so much cheaper in Taiwan and it really helps my muscles relax and be less tense. I'll try to do this after and before my flights and 16 and a half hours sitting on a plane does a number on my body. This is also a little bit different, but I'll never take my own passport photos again or use those quick photo booths because I now have the best passport photo ever all due to this man in his studio. He did such a great job and I look, not to be vain, but I look good. It was a smooth and fast process and I now have photos to last me for all my visas, travel, work, to frame, to give to my parents, to put in their wallets, and to hand out to family and friends and people on the street because I've never had a better photo of me taken before. It was a super quick process and he helped me choose the best photo. These photos are way better than the one I took with my iPhone last year and printed out on my own. I'm wrapping up my Taiwan trip and going through the airport is such a breezy, fun experience. It's so quick to get through security and immigration, especially as a Taiwanese citizen, since it's all automated. I first stopped by the Oriental Club Lounge with my priority pass, which I got for free with my Chase Sapphire Reserve credit card. Food and drinks are free, so I ordered some light snacks like fruits and a madeleine, since I just ate dinner with my family and have an evening flight, so I didn't want to be too full and bloated. I didn't have as much time to explore, but this is a huge, quiet and clean lounge. Walking through Taoyuan International Airport is a lot of fun. Even though most stores were closed due to COVID in early 2022, you can still admire all the Hello Kitty Sanrio themed rooms and decoration. These Hello Kitty telephones, this gate terminal that's all Sanrio travel themed, and even my gate was forest greenery themed, which was very calming. I'm boarding my EVA Air flight. This aircraft isn't Hello Kitty themed, but I used points to redeem this flight, so I paid zero dollars and had a great flight and watched a lot of movies. If you can take an international airline, I highly recommend it. Thanks so much for watching.